Okay, Mr. H, why are you in the same clothes? Because I'm recording four videos on the same day and I can be. Um, I personally think this lesson is easy. My guess is most of you will not, and that's all right. So now we're talking about coordinates on a plane. So points that are actually on that coordinate grid. Point A is at seven comma nine, and it's dilated from the origin by a scale factor of R equals six. That means it's getting six times bigger. So point A prime will be seven times six comma nine times six. So A prime is now 42 comma 54. That's what we're doing today. So this one, so B prime is negative eight times one half comma five times one half. So B prime, if you need a calculator, go ahead and get one. And that gives me negative four comma two and five tenths. This is what we're doing today. Letter or number three, C prime is going to be six times three fourths comma negative two times three fourths. So C prime is, that's gonna be 18, so that's, wait a minute, 18 fourths, which is nine halves. Your calculator should help you, that's a fraction. Comma, negative two times three is negative six divided by four, negative three halves. You are able to get fractions. Are we often going to get fractions? No, but we will get fractions. The key is multiplying each individual point by the scale factor, whether it's a fraction, whether it's a whole number, no matter what, we are multiplying each individual point by the scale factor. So the coordinates of triangle ABC are shown. The triangle is dilated from the origin by a scale factor of 12. Identify the coordinates of A prime, B prime, C prime. So A prime is going to be something. B prime is going to be something. C prime is going to be something. Well, this point is at negative 2, comma 2. I have to find that first. This point is at 6, comma 1. This guy down here is negative 3, negative 3. To find this point, we are multiplying it by 12. Negative 2 times 12 is negative 24. 2 times 12 is positive 24. There's A prime. B prime is negative 3 times 12, which is negative 36. Negative 3 times 12, which is negative 36. I'm taking each individual point, and I'm multiplying it by 12. C prime, 6 times 12 is 72. 1 times 12 is 12. Here are the new ordered pairs. Now, is that something that we want to graph? Absolutely not, because we don't want to go up to a graph of 72. But could you? Yeah, you absolutely could. We take each individual point and we multiply it by the scale factor. Well, Mr. H, what if it asks me to draw it? Well, that's a, that's a good question. What if it asks us to draw it? So here's D, E, F, G. The figure is dilated by a scale factor of two-thirds. Identify the coordinates. So D is at negative 6, comma 3. G is at negative 3, 3. Notice what I'm doing first. I'm labeling the points. E is at negative 4, negative 3. And F is at 5, negative 2. I don't, what are you doing, Mr. H? No, no. 5, negative 2. Okay. So how are we going to find D prime? Well, we take these numbers. So I'm going to come out here and I'm going to write D prime. And I'm going to get my calculator. And I'm going to take negative 6 times my scale factor, which is 2 divided by 3. And it gives me 4, comma. 3 times 2 divided by 3, and it gives me 2. So my next point, because it asks me to draw D prime is at negative 4, comma 2. Negative 4, comma 2. I put a point. There's D prime. Let's do G prime. Negative 3, negative 3. So I do negative 3 times 2 divided by 3. 
because that's my scale factor. So G prime is at negative two, comma, then I do three times two divided by three, which is positive two. So negative two, positive two, G prime. So far, this is working because it's shrunk inside. If my scale factor is less than one, it's absolutely going to be on the inside of that figure. Then we get a little bit trickier. So down here at E prime, I've got negative four times two divided by three. This gives me negative 2.67, comma, negative three times two divided by three, which is negative two. Okay, well, negative 2.67 is somewhere over here, down one, down two. So I just put it somewhere in between. It's just got to be somewhat close, guys. We're not looking for perfection. We're looking for close enough. And last but not least is F prime. So F prime is five times two divided by three, which is 3.3. .3. And negative two times three divided by two. No, 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 no. Negative two times two divided by three, which gives me negative 1.3. Okay, this is the trickiest one. So 3.3 .3 somewhere here, down one and a little bit more is right here. There's F prime. So now when I connect these points, will it look similar? Because it has to be similar to my original figure. And I hope that on your, oh man, I hope on your papers with a real ruler and not this stick that I swing at things, you'll have a little better of a figure. But this figure should look pretty darn similar to what we started with. Is it off a little bit? Yeah, just a little bit. But this figure on the inside looks similar to the figure that we started with. Remember, the key for this lesson is to make sure that we multiply the scale factor by every single point. I think there's one more example. Am I right or wrong? Yep. Okay. This is one of my favorites. Because when we do this, let's see. May we have the following. We have to label each individual point. One, two, three, up to. Lily Burns and Michael Coe. Leave it open, leave it open. There's A. B is at 12, 3. And C is at 9, up 12. You're good. Morning. What is okay. this? Well, this is me making a video, so you're on video. Oh. So I'm going to connect my points. So as I connect my points, I've got my triangle. Should yours look a little bit better because you're not using a big just random stick? Correct. And now my marker's not working. Oh, man. The bell's ringing. My marker's not working. We're running out of time. Okay. So there's my triangle. Immediately, I know that my scale factor is going to shrink this down. It's going to be a reduction. So A prime is Three times one-third, which is one. Two times one-third, which is two-thirds. B prime is going to be 12 times one-third, which is four. Three times one-third, which is one. And C prime, nine times one-third, which is three. And 12 times one-third, which is four. You guys are good. You can come in. Just come on in. Take your hats off. You don't need them on. So from here, now I can finish this off. You're good, come on. So now I'm gonna graph A, which is up one, or over one, up two thirds. So this is A prime, let me change colors. B prime is over four, up one. And last but not least, C is three, up four. So, when we graph on a coordinate grid based off of the origin with these kind of figures, 
Sometimes it's not inside of the figure. Notice how it overlaps a little bit, but it's not completely inside like our previous example. But do they look similar? Remember, similar means same shape, different size. It's absolutely the same shape, different size. So this is similar. The key to this is to make sure that when we are multiplying by the scale factor, we multiply each individual point by the scale factor. I hope you've found this pretty easy. If not, we'll keep going over it. But there it is. You're welcome. Once again, you're welcome. I'm awesome. You're welcome.